Right now, Governor Roy Cooper and emergency management leaders are giving an update on Hurricane Isaias. Let's listen in. Complicated given the COVID-19 pandemic, and families and businesses need to keep that in mind as they get ready. Based on its current speed and path, the hurricane could reach our coast as early as Monday, making its greatest impact Monday night and maybe even into Tuesday. Already, there's a threat of dangerous rip currents at our coast, and the danger of tropical storm force winds is increasing. The State Emergency Operations Center, the EOC, already activated for COVID-19, has been activated as well for Hurricane Isaias, and state and local response teams are at the ready. And today, I've declared a state of emergency to help our state prepare. Please follow any local evacuation orders that may be issued. We are urging anyone who has to evacuate to try and stay with family and friends and if that doesn't work, staying at a hotel, if you can afford it, as the first two options. The state will coordinate shelters for those who need to evacuate who can't find other arrangements. The reason we're asking people to make shelters their last resort, resort is because social distancing and precautions that go along with a shelter in a pandemic because of our ongoing battle with COVID-19, people needing a shelter will be screened for symptoms and given personal protective equipment like masks at the shelter. If someone has symptoms of COVID-19, the state has different sheltering options available where it's easier for people to isolate. With the right protection and sheltering, we can keep people safe from the storm while at the same time trying to avoid making the pandemic worse. A hurricane during a pandemic is double trouble, but the state has been carefully preparing for this scenario so that we can do our best to keep people safe from the weather as well as the virus. I'm grateful for our state emergency response team and all of their efforts to prepare, including the Know Your Zone evacuation strategy. The goal is to look back and say we overprepared, and that means we must not be caught off guard. I'd like to ask our Director of Emergency Management, Mike Sprayberry, to share more about our state's preparations. Mike? Thank you, sir, and thank you for your leadership. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is day 144 of the COVID-19 response at the State Emergency Operations Center. As of 0800 this morning, the State Emergency Operations Center is now activated for both Hurricane Isaias and the ongoing COVID-19 response. That includes partners like the State Highway Patrol, the North Carolina National Guard from our own parent agency, the Department of Public Safety, as well as other partners from other state agencies like DOT and DHHS, our federal partners from FEMA, nonprofit partners like the American Red Cross, and private sector businesses that participate in the North Carolina Business EOC. We are coordinating closely with our counties, especially those near the coast, as they make preparations and finalize any decisions about evacuations, sheltering, and other preparations that will be needed. We're making sure our swift water rescue teams and other response assets are ready and that they have the PPE they need to operate in the COVID-19 environment. We're also preparing to push packs of commodities like water, food and tarps to place where they're needed. Now is the time that we all need to be personally prepared for this storm with a plan and an emergency kit. In your emergency kit this year, be sure to include face coverings, hand sanitizer and cleaning products to help keep your family healthy. Visit readync.org for a complete list of items to include in your emergency kit. The Ready NC mobile app has been retired, but all of the same emergency and preparedness resources are available on the mobile-friendly readync.org website. As the governor was talking about, sheltering is going to be different this year. 
As I've stated before, the COVID-19 pandemic has caused some changes in the way we are looking at evacuations and sheltering. Here's how things will be different this year. We ask you to review your evacuation plan and follow these steps. If told to evacuate by your local officials, evacuate as requested. Evacuate the shortest distance possible. Get out of the impacted area. Due to the pandemic, try to stay with family, friends, or a hotel to minimize contact with others. If this isn't possible, go to a shelter. If you live at a safe inland, please do your part and offer to let family or friends evacuate to your, to your home. Both non-congregate and congregate shelters will be open this season for evacuees who require sheltering support. Local governments and the American Red Cross are working to implement health screening, social distancing, and cleaning protocols in shelters to prevent the spread of the virus. Many of our county partners are planning to make earlier decisions on evacuations to give time to execute these evacuation plans during the COVID-19 pandemic. As always, you should follow your county government website and social media channels for instructions involving evacuation and reentry. The governor talked about the Know Your Zone program. It's also in effect this year. 20 coastal counties have developed coastal evacuation zones based on areas most at risk due to storm surge and river flooding. Please visit knowyourzone.nc.gov to see if you live in one of these zones. If you do, remember your zone and listen for it if evacuations are needed and ordered. The zones labeled A are red in the Know Your Zone maps. They are the highest risk areas and likely to be evacuated first if needed. The B zones are slightly lower risk. And so You're listening to a live news conference now featuring Governor Roy Cooper and now Mike Sprayberry, uh, the leader of the state uh, EOC. Uh, they are giving an update on Hurricane Isaias, basically talking about uh, they expect the, the greatest impact to the earliest impact to happen to Monday. You just heard Brad uh, say that uh, they're giving orders on what to do if and when there are evacuation orders in place. They're saying uh, to try to stay with family or friends or a hotel if you can afford it. They talk about the unique challenges of doing this during a pandemic, how people who need a shelter will be screened and given PPE. And if they have symptoms, there are different shelters in place and available. Of course, uh, we'll continue to follow this for the latest on the tropics and forecasts. Download the WNC weather app. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.